Hey folks, I got our gold washing today, or well, gold panning, prospecting. Uh, first time in about a month, I think. It's uh, been, I've been very busy. But anyway, we went down to the River Aura in Switzerland and we found some gold with a friend from, well, we're with, from, from Holland. Um, I've got to show you this. This is like a, a string tie. Uh, Minor Mario made me this. This is fantastic. Let me see if I can uh, zoom in on it. This is opal and minerals. You can see blue opal in it. And he got married the other month. And I was the best man. And he made me this. <laughs> Fantastic. But anyway, I'll not mess around. I'll uh, get on with it and show you the gold. We didn't get a great amount, but it's gold all the same. Nice to be nice. So here we are on the Aura. A little bit of prospecting. A work colleague from Holland and his wife and son. And we're going to try and find some gold. What we'll do, we'll do a few tests, a few test pans, and, uh, and if we can get slow set up, we'll get slow set up. It's nice down here. So we've just done a couple of test pans. That's best pan. <laughs> we've got about five pieces in there. Congratulations. Thank you. So we've got slow set up, we've found gold. What we're gonna do, we're gonna run some buckets from this area and see how we do. That was about the best place to set it. Oh, water was going well. And as we've got a Dutchman here, they're the best at building dams. <laughs> Buckets. I did see some gold up here somewhere, it might have flipped up, that could be it down there. And some couple of pieces, but they might have just washed through a bit. A lot of steel in here. But oh, it's not bad, that's a piece there. It will keep going. I'll try and test some other little spots as well, just to see if we can find some better. So we just took three, pan uh, three buckets out there. We're washing them. There's some gold in, in uh, slows, but I'm gonna do a few test pans. I know there's some better gold on here. I know there's a, there's a, there's a gold line on here somewhere. It's been a couple of years since I've been down here, or a year at least, so I'm just gonna pop some holes across and we'll concentrate on that. But yeah, I'll have to fill all these holes in because it's a public sort of area. If I were digging, I wanted to fill that in, but yeah, I have to fill in. It's not all about the gold. Mm. That's our gold. Yeah. So we dug some test holes and we're not finding anything spectacular. I found two in that. The two pans took two out of each pan. I found two in that pan, and then another pan with just one in. So, continue to do a few more out of this. We've seen stuff going through box, but it's not staining that. I mean, it's so hopefully it's all coated caught in coffee. And I mean, there's not a lot, I don't think, and it's very small. But what we're saying, it's all good fun, isn't it? It's a different spot, it's nice and quiet. Kids are happy, wife's happy, everybody's happy. There's a couple of 
pieces in there. So if few run, run through, but they don't seem to be sticking in very well. Hopefully they're all like carpet. So I don't think it'll be massive amount, but you can only try. So it's not very really big. That's the top. Uh, that's black mat. I'm gonna clean the rest of the bucket out with 16, 16 pieces there. I'll stuff it up. It's a bit of lead, as usual. And I've just rubbed carpet through quick. There's about eight pieces there. I'll wash it through again and I'll snuff that up. So that's about that. There's about 50 pieces in there eventually. It's, uh, it's all quite small. A bit of sand and a bit of lead in it. And there you go. Gold from the aura.